Get out. Did you hear me? I said out. I am sorry, Miss Velvet. I thought you was all gone. Trying to get a peek at something, you old pig. Pig? Pig? Who do you think cleans up your mess every night? It'll be somebody else. You don't get the hell out of here, creep. She said it. Makes me sick the way they look. I don't got to take that kind of crap. No way. Hey. 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 I'll go and get some help. You'll be okay. Take one from the other side as well. Travis, did you notice anything unusual tonight? How could I tell? It's a generation I don't know or understand. They live on another planet, in another world, or they want to, or try to. Okay, thanks a lot, Travis. And drugs all too often are how they get from this world to that one. And from that one to this. Get out of my way, will you? What do you think this is? Will you tell this moron to let me in? Maybe if you give him a reason. I'm Stan Callis. I manage the crud. The band. Let him through. <clears throat> oh, aren't you supposed to put a sheet on it or something? You knew her? You all living on the moon? What? This is Velvet. Yeah, we know that. How well did you know her? What did I know? What didn't I know? You dumb little bimbo. If you're gonna do it, why didn't you do it three years ago? It's three years of my life flying there. Three years of sweating blood all down the toilet. Do you know who sold her the drugs? Well, not me, if that's what you're thinking. I tell them all to stay away from that junk. Look what they do to themselves. What's 15% of that, huh? Get him away from her. That's disgusting. Make it easy. It's disgusting. Make him leave her alone. He's just doing his job. Now, who is Harold Nelson? A rich guy. More money than brains. Likes musicians. I don't think she was getting along too good with them. They had a relationship? Relationship? Hmm. That's nice. You talk like they do. I don't know what the hell they had. I don't think they had it anymore, that's all. Well, he we invited her to a party tonight. What does that mean? Maybe she was going, maybe she wasn't. She didn't get there, did she? Damn. Does she have any other name besides Velvet? Yeah. Diane something. Diane Turner. <clears throat> Seems like they're dying younger all the time. Maybe she'd like to just... Yeah, we're just getting older, Tommy. Decent pants in your locker? Hmm. Just jeans. Why don't you drop me off at the office and go by your place and find something a little better, huh? We're going to this party.
Listen, why don't you wait in the car? You're gonna cram my style. What are you talking about? I thought you said good clothes. This is quality stuff. Just leave where it is, okay? It's got no flash. Flash? Where'd you get those pants out of a feed catalog? You look like the pastel pimp. Get in there. <laughs> Invitation, please. Just want to use velvet. Who do you think? What are you drinking? Soda. Figured out what it is yet? It's like mud. Probably is. Try one of those. Not bad. You in the entertainment business? Oh. Don't exactly fit in here. Neither do you. In my case, it doesn't matter. It's my house. Are you Mr. Nelson? I'm Kevin O'Brien. I'm a friend of Diane. She said it would be all right if I met her here tonight. Diane. Diane Turner? Velvet? I don't like the name much myself. I used to bounce around my knee when she was a little kid. Is she around here tonight? You a good friend of hers? She's come to a few of my parties. Lots of people do. Some invited, some not. You enjoy yourself, Mr. O'Brien. Thank you, I'm fine. Frank, I changed it. You changed your first name? It's Amanda, Amanda Carson. It's a stage name. I'm an actress. You're an actress? Mm -hmm. No kidding. <laughs> well, you always wanted to become an actress. You always wanted to be a shortstop. Yeah, now I'm just playing the field. <laughs> <laughs> so you really became an actress? What about a dance, Frank?
are you? Hi, Kev. This is Maria Cordoso. We used to go to high school again. Maria? No, it's not Maria. It's Amanda Carson. How are you? She must have been a very good friend. Uh, it's a stage name. She's an actress. An actress? Uh, do I have to call you Amanda? No, Amanda. <laughs> Listen, can I see you again? Uh, tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow. I Where? Carroll Park. You know where it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when do you finish? Well, three, but Three, I'm... okay. Carroll Park is three, okay? What's up? Come on. What's up? Come on! Heavy hitter. All right, watch him. Get over there. You, over here. Come on. Up against Just stay right there. Right on back. You, right on back. Wonder what this is. You open the lockup. All right, one at a time. I'm going to start with Pistol Pete there. Okay, Mr. Pistol Pete there. <laughs> Where'd you get this from? Same as you, airhead. I'm on a job. What do you mean, job? Damn. Jefferson Narcotics. You want to get me out of here? Now? So I'm stroking this dealer along, and suddenly Batman and Robin here come swinging out the trees and calling me. Three weeks I've been working this guy. Three weeks, and now it's all blown to hell. We were following a homicide lead. What homicide? The chick OD. You're out of line, Jefferson. You call your shots, you let my men call All right, her. all right, all right, look. You got a phone. Next time you want to send guys into my turf, just pick it up and ask, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, three weeks later, we get information we could have got right now. But yeah, what'd you get your way, huh, cowboy? A guy we can talk to who might know something. You got squat. You got squat. Number one, there's no homicide. All right, that's your turf, that's your problem, okay? I'm sorry. And number two, Chucky ain't nothing. He's chump chains. All he does is deliver the goods. He's not the action. Yeah, so what'd you want with him? I was angry to meet his boss till you swung into action. Listen, next time, the boys give me a call, huh? Call Interdepartmental Cooperation. It was an accident. They were doing their job. Yeah, right. He's got a point, Kevin. See if he can straighten it out. Jefferson. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, maybe there's some way we can keep this thing alive. Now, burn up, man. Who's gonna want to know me now? You've been working on this thing for three weeks. What's another hour gonna hurt you? Come on, we'll buy a drink. It's called interdepartmental cooperation. Yeah, what the hell? You guys are buying, huh? Obey. The ME's office called. You know that stuff the dead girl was snorting? Only half cocaine. Only half? It's good stuff, huh? Everybody cuts it. With potassium cyanide? Kind of hard on the steady customers. Looks like you boys got yourself a homicide, huh? Does this mean to buy my own drink? Thanks for it. I think we should all go downtown so you'll concentrate a little better. Half that. Will you turn it down? What you saying, man? I said. You can't hear it no more, huh? You want to end up like that? Just keep driving, Slick. Gotcha. Harold Nelson, right? All I know is he and Velvet had a thing, okay? What kind of thing? Hey, she wasn't Shirley Temple, you know. He wasn't the first and he wasn't the last. Well, Might have been the last, Wes. Figure of speech, you know what I mean? Keep going. That's all she wrote. 
Maybe it fell apart, maybe it didn't. If I knew, I'd tell you. So where'd she get the drugs? Drugs? Drugs. That's terrible. We've been playing backup for her more than a year now, but we never knew she did drugs. Never saw her with any, did we, Si? Never was. Come to think of it, she did act a little funny sometimes. There was this guy that used to hang around. Maybe he sold her stuff. I don't know. Well, this guy had a name? I imagine he did. Kind of a neat idea, though, of a man without a name. <laughs> was he here tonight? Oh, good. So you'd recognize him if you saw him. I never forget a face. Okay. I never forget a neck. <laughs> and neither do I. Well, who else could it have been? Uh, if Chucky Boy knew it was in that bag, you better believe he never would have gave it to him. Scared to death hard time. Well, somebody put it there, so somebody knows. What about this guy Nelson? How's he fit in? Uh, that's what everybody wants to know. There's a lot of drugs out at his place. It's the kind of crowd he throws parties for. Uh, i never seen him do this stuff himself, though. Strange dude. But who isn't, huh? If we can fix it up so you're not burned, can you pick up the pieces with Chucky? Give it a shot. Gonna be my drug dealer, your homicide. A little of both. And now, Chuck, is the only idea we got. Well, yeah, maybe it'll lead to something, huh? Yeah. i see you later. All right. You off duty now? Yeah. He's never off duty. Said the lady with the rattle of a ratting machine? All right, I'll be done in five minutes. Where's Frankie? He's getting his beauty sleep. He's got a date, high school sweetheart, no less. High school? <laughs> Those are the years between puberty and cynicism. Oh. I can't even remember high school. Come on, Tommy, it wasn't that long ago. I do. Wait, I do. I, I remember the girl I went out with in high school. Of course you do. Betty Kimberly, right? Because I went out with her, too. Did I ever get even with you for that? Yeah, but it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> I am not asking. She was something. Honey blonde hair. And long, long legs. Remember those skirts they used to wear? What was her name again? Um, Betty. Betty. <laughs> no, Frankie's girlfriend, the one that no, always... She changes it every five minutes. She was at Harold Nelson's party tonight. What do you know about him? Very rich, throws lots of parties. They don't work the society columns. How does he earn his money? The old-fashioned way. He inherited it. Are you off duty yet? Just punched out. One more time. Uh, something is wrong, you know. This is supposed to be warm. How about leaves? Let's, let's put some leaves on the trees, huh? Higher! Heidi, oh, you wanna go? As high as I can get! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not a bad job you got. Sometimes. Sometimes there's a long wait between pictures. I guess. Who was the guy? What guy? The guy you were kissing. <laughs> I don't know. It was his first day. No, I mean in the movie. I don't know. They keep changing the script on me. I think I meet him at a party. Sounds pretty familiar. <laughs> <laughs> when you get older, you'll understand. Yeah, what? I don't know. You want to go for a walk? I think maybe we're confusing him. Seven years is a long time, Frank. We were kids then. Who's looking back? I'm talking about now. <sighs> I don't know anything about your now. And you don't know anything about mine. That's because you're not giving it a chance. Just like a movie. 
Yeah, that's the guy. He was in her dressing room with her the night she died. You're sure of that? Sure as I am of anything, ma'am. <laughs> How sure is that? Better in half. <gasps> Better than half. <laughs> He's a cop. A damn cop! I didn't know it's the truth. You don't know what your friends do. Look, I haven't seen him in years, since high school. Oh, you were taking a refresher course. Well, he just asked to meet me. A woman in your position, with your needs, renewing acquaintances with police officers. I, do you think that's why? I didn't know. I didn't. You're repeating yourself, Amanda. Or should I call you Maria? No, Amanda. Look, I won't see him anymore, all right? Good. No. Wait a minute. Come here, Amanda. Perhaps you should see him. Perhaps you should see him often. I don't know why the police keep coming around. And I would very much like to know. Huh. Should I come back? Close the door, Kevin. What's up? You got me thinking about this guy, Nelson, so I uh, tagged along with him for a while. Wound up outside a girl's apartment. Mistress, I don't know what the details are. The point is, she's running with some pretty heavy operators. And? Her name is Amanda Carson, Kevin. Let me give you the picture. Nelson lets himself in. He's got his own key. Apparently, the girl ain't home, so uh, he waits, I wait. Then your partner brings her home. He's an old friend of hers. That's all. Be careful with that kind of talk. No. Girl's got plenty of buddies paid top dollar to buy a cop. Maybe. Frankie can't be bought. You know, well, screw up there and I get you thinking, you know what I mean? What about you? You got a piece, too? Kevin! Now, listen, any more of that stuff and I'll bust both of you. Yeah, okay, why don't we just forget this crap and give it to internal affairs, huh? Give what to IAD? Jambone's got a girlfriend, so what? So what, you just gonna drop it? Drop what? Is there an allegation? Just tell your partner to watch a step, you know what I mean? Where are you going, Jefferson? You two gentlemen are still working on the same case, aren't you? Yeah, I'll be there. I was going for some fresh air. What the hell is Jambone thinking about? The usual. You better have a talk with that partner of yours. I want some answers. Fast. Got you cold on deal and Frankie. One of your customers is dead. And we got a witness. You talking about Velvet? I don't know. You got any other dead customers? That was an OD, man. It was, it was homicide, Chucky. God. Homicide? Who, man? You just explained that. Come on, someone's gotta tell me what you're talking about. Hey, we have the right to remain silent, man. I swear I didn't kill anybody. Well, maybe he doesn't know about the cyanide. Hmm? He knows. 
Well, Chucky's not dumb enough to get set up like that. How about it, Chucky? How dumb are you? Cyanide. Yeah, you know, the stuff they use in gas chambers. I want a lawyer, man. You get me a lawyer. Elaine, we are busy in here. Not anymore, you're not. This guy just made bail. Bail? We're interrogating him. Take him out. Give him a ticket and let him go. How can he make bail on a homicide charge? We charged him on a narcotics violation. Yeah, and that narcotic led to a girl's death. If I remember my law courses, you need to prove that kind of thing. You heard the lady. Get me my stuff. Think you bought it? I damn near bought it myself. Yo, Chucky. Is this how you treat your friends, man? What are you doing here, man? You ever hear about lawyers, huh? Lawyers talk to judges. Judges set bail. Yeah, I heard of lawyers. Yeah? Well, this is how you fact me, huh? Huh? I put up your bail, lover. What for? Because me and you got business to take care of, man. We can't let the pigs mess that up. Oh, man, it's too hot right now, man. We've got to go to a cool down, okay? I have dropped some serious ducats on this one. You know what I mean? What do I look like? I don't legal aid. When it cools down. No, 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 man. See, because I got commitments. You know, I got money tied up in this. And I do not want to have to go to my people and tell them where or who is responsible. You hear me? Just let me talk to my man and I'll get back to you. You're trying to chill me off, man. Let's tell you if you are. You better give it some serious thought. Just give me a day, man. One day, I'll call you. Hey. Okay, Chucky. You got one day, huh? One day. Oh, you should have bailed me out. You can't leave a guy hanging like that. They're talking about a coke deal. They're talking about homicide. I told you not to deal here. If you do it again, I'll turn you in myself. You're not even listening. I said homicide. They're just trying to scare you, Chucky. And apparently, they've done a good job. See for yourself. Oh, man, are those cops? That would be my guess. They wanted to see where you'd go, and you were kind enough to lead them here. That wasn't very smart, Chuck. <laughs> They're trying to blame that velvet thing on me. No way, no way am I taking a rap like that, man. No, that wouldn't be fair, would it, Chucky? Hello, could I speak to the desk sergeant, please? I don't think you have anything to worry about, Chucky. Sergeant Higgins? It's Harold Nelson here. Yes, a very pleasant evening. Uh, I'm having a bit of a problem. I was wondering if you could send someone around. There seems to be a car parked on the grounds. No, no, I don't think it's anything serious. It's just that the groundskeeper keeps finding beer bottles and all sorts of litter on the grounds in the morning. Thank you very much. I'd appreciate it. takes care of my problem, Chucky. Now, what do we do about yours? So, what's this about? The girl. Your high school sweetheart? She's right in the middle of this thing. You want to run that by me again? She's implicated. You shouldn't even be seen with her. Listen, that's my own damn business. You dropped her off tonight, right? What the hell is this? You got someone following me? Uh, nobody's following you, at least not yet anyway. What's that supposed to mean? People are asking questions. What people? People. You're hanging around with a girl who's right in the middle of a narcotics investigation and homicide. You wouldn't ask questions about a cop mixed up in things like that? Hey, you have questions asked. Don't be stupid, Frankie. I'm not trying to pick a fight with you. Nelson was at the apartment when you dropped her off. That's a lot of crap. You didn't go in. All right, so he was. So what? We have nothing on Nelson. He is in it up to his eyebrows. I don't give a damn. That doesn't mean that she is. I'm telling you to get off it. And I'm telling you to stay away from her. It's my own damn business who I go out with. Not when you get me tangled up in it. I'm your partner. Is that your problem? I mean, we can change that. Oh, great. Why don't you change over narcotics while you're at it? You got the connections for it? I'm not looking for an informant. No, maybe we should be looking for a new partner, huh? Hey, if we're going to do this, you can cut that out right now. There's a guy there. Hey, buddy, what are these girls? Beautiful. They're from Germany. They're from Sweden. Well, you don't like girls? Come on, by whom, by whom? We got everything. We got an assortment. That's your exclusive arrangement? <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. You two, uh, you two know each other, huh? 
great. Well, you two know each other? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a job, sucker. Hey, man, don't sucker me. Have you heard of Free Enterprise? We've never looked better, Whitey. Hey, come on. Oh, we love. take her with us. Come on. Like a beast whale, guys. I'm not a flounder, for God's sakes. Give me a break. Have it nice. That's nice. Look, that's all I know, O'Brien. That's all I know. I mean, the girl like to suck up a lot of nose candy, all right? I mean, she's on the hook for some big bucks. And I don't mean the bank, either. I thought she had plenty of money. Hey, she does. Maybe that's what ticked him off. How the hell do I know? Who? Tipped who off? Hey, I don't know, you know? And if I did... If you did what? You'd be... You'd be the first one to know. Guys are dressing better, though. What, Miami Vice got to you? Question. I'll go right ahead. How come you didn't tell me you were a cop? Is there some reason you didn't want me to know? Just didn't come up, that's all. Why? I don't know. You just don't seem like the cop type. <laughs> cop type? You know what I mean. You wouldn't be much of a hit at some of the parties I go to. Maybe go to the wrong parties. Maybe. I thought it was an accident we bumped into each other the other night. Wasn't an accident, was it? Yeah, it was. You don't just show up at parties like that. You were investigating something, weren't you? How well do you know Nelson? Is that an official question, officer? Just stay away from him, that's all. He's, he's bad news. <laughs> you were working that night, weren't you? I'm not working tonight. How's about that dinner? Okay. Can I get you another? Everything okay here? <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. I mean, your father never told you some girl you were going out with wasn't right for you. I am not his father. I'm his partner. It's about that girl again? Mm -hmm. Kevin's going through a Jiminy Cricket phase. Oh, that's about as dumb as anything I've ever heard you say. You haven't been listening. Come on, Kevin, don't you think you're overreacting just a little? No, I'm not overreacting. Sure you are. Because she travels with a fast crowd. Fast crowd. Why is it that everyone thinks that Amanda or Maria, whatever she's calling herself these days, is just perfect for Frank? Everything I've learned indicates that she puts illegal substances up her nose. Doesn't that make a difference, hmm? I think you should trust Frank's judgment. If she is so terrible, he'll find out for himself. You know what you're forgetting? That Frank is a cop. Just because he's a cop, that doesn't mean he can't make mistakes. Tommy, we're on a case, and she is right in the middle of it. This isn't a pleasure cruise. I don't care about Frank's love life. We're talking serious trouble here. What do you got, Stevie? Oh, reason why Nelson called the cops on us last night. Chucky Davis. So much for Chucky. Well, let's go pay a call on Mr. Nelson. Where's Frank? Oh, this is some place, huh? It's one thing about sin, you can't knock the wages. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. You like it? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's the first edition. There are only 11 copies. But I don't imagine you came here to discuss books. No, we came here to discuss Chucky Davis. Chucky Davis. 
I'm afraid I don't know anyone by that name. Mr. O'Brien, I believe he said? I followed him here last night. Ah, the Prowler. Yes, I did call the police, and they sent you to investigate. He wasn't a Prowler. Detective Brody saw him come in. Was that you in the yard? Well, I'm afraid you've made an error, young lady. There's no Chuck E. Davis here. We found him in the river a couple hours ago. Ah. Well, then. He's obviously not here. Do you mind if we look around? Oh, not at all. If you'll just show me your warrant. I see. No warrant. Well, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't find anything. And there are five people working in the house who'll swear I was here alone all night. Those are lovely eyes, Miss Brody. Perhaps you should have them checked. I may vomit. Let's go. About. To look real? Come on. Give me a smile. <laughs> Salud. <laughs> mm. How's that feel doing? Mm. Two minutes. Uh, I have to make a call. Call in. Can I use your phone? Sure, right over there. Mid South, Burns. Colby, it's Frank. What's happening with that cocaine thing? It's kind of popping, Frankie. You know that dude you guys busted the other night, Chucky, what's his name? They found him swimming with all his clothes on. Kevin and Stevie went out to question Nelson. They haven't gotten back yet. Well, it's a damn shame about that Chucky. You know, the kid in the band, I need him, but the hell about it good it's gonna do us now. What are you doing? Taking the night off? Which side are you on? Why do I have to be on anyone's side, Frank? You're with him, aren't you? Yeah. I owe him a lot, okay? For drugs. I've been doing some coke. No heroin. I mean, shooting up. And you weren't paying him. Don't look at me like that, Frank. What's the deal, Marie? How are you paying him? Frank, would you mind stepping outside for a couple of minutes? I'm in on this, too. I mean, she can say anything in front of me. Please, Frank. So you didn't owe him money, but he was supplying you with drugs. Yeah. I was sleeping with him. Is that what you wanted to hear? Is there some reason you guys have to know that? Is that the same deal he had with Velvet? Maybe. Maybe in the beginning. I think he was in love with her. What about her? She hated his guts. Once she started making money, she didn't need him for drugs anymore. But he kept sending them. Every day, Chucky'd show up with a nice, neat little package. Why would he kill her? Is that what you think? The coke she had was half cyanide. Oh, God. Could he do a thing like that? He could do anything. So why don't you help us, Maria? We'd put him away. We could set you up with a little information. Get him scared. And then who knows, maybe do something stupid. You want me to go see him? Just one more time. You kill me! You kill me! So what are you doing to yourself now, huh? Oh. Listen, sister, one way or another, we're gonna get him. Huh? And then what are you gonna do, huh? Find yourself another Nelson? You got a drug habit you can't pay for, babe. You're asking me to get killed! Maria will take care of you. Now you think it over.
I'm sorry he didn't come in. You're losing your charm. It's on duty, that's all. You were at the police station. They were interrogating me. Were they? I was wondering when they'd get around to that. But of course, you didn't tell them anything. What could I tell them? Of course, what could you tell them? Still, it must have been grueling. You look overwrought. You need a little something to relax. It's for you, my dear. Open it. It's what you need. <laughs> it's all right, Hal. Look, I'm not feeling very well. I, I just need some sleep. It'll make you feel better. Always makes no, you feel better. No, it's all right. I, look, I just want to be alone, okay? They told you, didn't they? They didn't tell me anything. I told you how Velvet died. It's not like my Amanda to say no to my little presence. Treacherous slut! <laughs> you give this matches your little going away present to velvet, Nelson. A little hard on the steady customers. Maria? Maria, it's gonna be okay. How the hell did you get here so fast? That's what, folks. You snake. Hey, we had to be sure about your partner. And, uh, he's clean. <laughs> Thought you'd want to know that, huh? I knew. Come on, Frankie. You spend the night with me, Frank, please. I'm on duty. Listen, you're gonna be okay. I didn't want to do it, Frank. I didn't want to use you like that. You don't know what it's like. Sure. Listen, if you need any help, uh, give me a call. Okay. probably write it up as a story about drugs, or murder, for my column anyway. Deadlines do that to you, they make you simplify. Someday I'll do that novel, and if this story's part of it, I'll do it justice. It's not a police story at all, it's a story about growing up. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. You've got a few problems, Frank, you're just gonna have to work them out. Come on, get her off this way. Come on, lift. No. You didn't know her. My friend knew a girl named Maria and a woman who called herself Amanda. For a while, he thought they were the same person. Someday, she may come back into his life again. Maybe it'll be with another name. And I feel the love. Cheating.